How to track your business car mileage using a simple spreadsheet. Do you need to keep on top of your business mileage? Can you claim your business mileage back from your employer? If so, then our simple car mileage tracker spreadsheet might be just the tool you need. Follow my step-by-step -step guide on how to create an easy to use business car mileage spreadsheet. And if you want a free copy of this template, then as usual, we can provide you with this. Just follow the instructions as shown in the description section below. The various spreadsheet functions and commands that I've used include drop-down boxes to select data. I employ a simple if statement and use conditional formatting. The car mileage template is easy to use and can be adapted and expanded to suit your individual requirements. Now, if you are new to our channel, then please do take the time to subscribe and to receive notifications of our upcoming videos. And please feel free to ask questions or to leave a comment in the section below. I do hope that you enjoy watching. Okay, let's start the design of our car mileage log spreadsheet by opening up a new workbook and then copy in the headings as shown on screen, starting in cell C4 and ending in cell J4. You can pause the video whilst you complete this. Now we will populate the first row of the mileage data. In cell C5, enter in the date the 1st of January 2023. Our starting odometer reading is 36,521 miles. So enter this value into cell D5. In cell E5, we want to differentiate between business mileage and personal mileage. So let's enter in a drop down box selector to do this. With cell E5 active, pick up the data validation tool from the data ribbon and in the allow field, select list and in the source field, type in business, comma, personal with no spaces and then click OK to save and close. A drop down box should appear to the right of cell E5. Please select business. Our reference in cell F5 is your narrative for this journey. In cell G5, we need to record the mileage for this trip. I have entered 256. Now H5 is the new odometer reading, which should be the starting odometer reading in cell D5, plus the value for this trip in cell G5. So the formula in cell H5 is simply equals plus D5 plus G5. If you are able to claim a mileage allowance for business trips, then you can enter in your mileage allowance rate in cell I5. However, as we are recording both business and personal mileage, we only want the rate to appear if the value in cell E5 is equal to business. So let's create a simple if statement to achieve this. Select cell I5 and enter in the formula equals if open brackets E5 equals speech mark business speech mark comma 0.75 comma naught and close the brackets. This formula says if the value in E5 is business then enter in our mileage rate of 0.75 otherwise simply enter in a zero. As this particular line of data is for business, then I5 populates correctly with 0.75. Our final cell on this row is the value of our claim for this trip. This is simply the miles in cell G5 multiplied by the rate in I5. 
So the formula in cell J5 becomes equals plus G5 multiplied by I5. That's great. We have now completed our first line of data. In the next section, we'll replicate the formulas in row 5 to fully automate our car mileage log table. Enter in a new date for our second line of data. So cell C6 becomes the 2nd of January 2023. The starting odometer reading for this line is the same as the closing odometer reading for the previous line. So in cell D6, enter in the formula equals plus H5. The value in cell D6 now becomes 36,777. Navigate to cell E5 in the row above and copy and drag this formula all the way down to E18. This copies down the drop-down box selector such that it now appears on each row. Highlight the range E6 to E18 and press the delete key. The values disappear, but the drop-down box selector remains. Now, with cell E6 active, select business from the drop-down box. Place your trip narrative in cell F6 and the mileage for this trip of 184 in cell G6. The values for cells H6, I6 and J6 use the same formulas as in the cells above. We can easily copy these formulas down to the end of our mileage log table. So highlight the range H5 through to J5 and copy and drag the contents down to row 18. Hopefully cells H6 through to J6 populate correctly. Finally in this section, we need to copy down the formula in cell D6 to the end of the table. So with cell D6 active, copy and drag this formula down to row 18. In the next section, we will format our table. We will add a total for our mileage claim enter in a title, and then apply some conditional formatting to our table. In cell C2, enter in your title and format this as shown on screen. From the page layout ribbon, uncheck the view grid lines box. Now, highlight the range C4 through to J18 and from the Borders tool on the Home ribbon, select All Borders. In the range G5 through to G18, enter in a background or fill colour of light grey. Select the ranges D5 through to D18, and whilst holding down the Control key, select also the ranges G5 through to G18 and H5 through to H18. Now, Right click your mouse to format these cells to zero decimals and have the 1000 comma separator checked. Highlight the range I5 through to J18. Once again, right click your mouse and set the decimals to two places and the 1000 comma separator checked. Make bold the range J5 through to J18 and finally, in cell J20, use the autosum command to calculate our total claim value. Enter the text claim in cell J20 and format both I20 and J20 as shown on screen. Now highlight the range I5 through to J18. Let's get rid of the zeros to make our worksheet look a bit tidier. So pick up the conditional formatting tool from the home ribbon. Select the highlight cells rule and from there the equals to option. Enter in a value of zero and from the with field 
select the last option in the drop down box, which is Custom Format. In the dialog box that opens, select the Font tab and then the Color option and set this to white. Click OK and OK again to save and close. Hopefully all of the zeros in this range merge into the white background and cannot be seen. And that's it. You now have completed your very own car mileage log. Copy in the values that I've entered for rows 7 down to row 18. Hopefully all the formulas work correctly. You can easily expand this car mileage table to accommodate many more rows. Simply use the techniques as shown to achieve this. I do hope that you found the contents of this video both useful and informative. Many thanks for watching. We do hope that our spreadsheet presentation was of value to you and that there was lots of useful content. If you would like a copy of this free template, then all we ask is that you subscribe to our channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Alternatively, you can visit us on one of our channels at either Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you enjoyed watching this video, then why not watch our How to Create a Bookkeeping Spreadsheet in Excel or How to Keep Inventory using an Excel spreadsheet. Thank you once again for watching. We do 